Well, I spent uh, many years in, in Chicago, where I was an actor, and after a time that ran its course, I spent a little bit of time just exploring the country, and through a series of circumstances, I ended up in New Orleans. And initially in New Orleans, I was doing film work, and that afforded me a lot of downtime that I had to fill, and I started just working, doing um, painting, and before long I had just stacks of paintings. And people would say, you should show these. But I had no idea, I didn't have, a, I didn't have an art background really, so I just started uh, hitting the street and went down to Julia Street, took a little CD with me and showed everybody, and a few people uh, showed some interest and I was able to get in with, uh, with Steve Martin for a time at his gallery. That's really what opened up the doors for me as far as having work uh, and, and establishing myself in the city. Yeah. At the time when I started painting, people were talking about Lincoln and I was over in Savannah and I was sort of taking in the South and realizing I didn't know much about that at all, like that conflict. And, and so I started reading a ton about the Civil War and became very, very interested in it. And then I felt like I wanted to do something to, you know, bring to life my enthusiasm about the about what I was reading. The way that I express enthusiasm has always been through painting people that captivate me or catch my attention. Even if you don't know anything about Lincoln, he just has such an interesting face. Um, specifically, his face is, uh, is so tragic, and yet you feel as though he's trying to, he's trying to put a happy face on something that's clearly tearing him apart. Uh, he became sort of the springboard for what I do. My favorite way to do it, if, if it is possible, is to work with a living person, a living model. Um, because I, I really look at, at painting from life. If you're painting a human being, it's, it's totally a collaboration between me and them. I went to the monochromatic because I have always been attracted to black and white personally. It wasn't like I was driven to do all this stuff. I simply was doing it because I enjoyed it. And what I realized is that if you do something over and over and over again, it takes on a life of its own without you having to push it. Like it becomes, you know, it maybe slowly, but it will evolve and become its own thing. I always enjoyed working in large scale, but I was never able to, frankly, because there's no way to transport these these things that I wanted to do. And even now, I wish I could do paintings that were like 10 feet by eight, you know, I, I would love to do monstrous scale. But when you have something that's large, what's fun to do is to fill up all of that space with, with, uh, with whatever you fancy to put there. Uh, and so when I was starting to work large, suddenly I had this, this giant playground, you know, of, of hills and valleys. It's a portrait, but it's, it is a landscape of features and then you step back from the landscape and there's the whole face, you know? And I found that very exciting to have two or perhaps more experiences and, you know, the one from afar and then the one when you step up real close and see all the workings of what's going on. I always enjoyed that in painting. It's a big part of what I do. I remember a guy I was talking to him and he said, it, your work is almost as if you, you took a portrait and it exploded and then it's settling. And it's just before all the pieces have settled, and it's and there's where you did the portrait, and I love that. You know, that's not at all what I ever thought about what I was doing, um, but I love that idea. You know, <laughs> maybe it's just our culture, but all this focus on the point that you'll get to, the thing that you'll finally get to, where you'll be validated. You know, okay, finally he did this, and and he's validated. I don't necessarily have a big goal that I'm working towards. I think the biggest goal is simply to be present along the way, actively present, let's say, to not simply lose yourself within your ambition and lose sight of all the good things that are happening all around you, the good people that are pulling for you, people that you could be pulling for. And so I think a good, a good kind of success, if I could get there, would be to, to do what I love and remain present.